Introducing CRT Text. I always struggled to create stunning titles, but now, it takes just seconds to transform white text into a unique masterpiece. Choose texture, drag and drop, and you are done. Step up your text game today. Yo, what is up guys? We are back at it again with another pack. We just released the CRT text pack. If you guys are looking to add a new look to your videos, I highly recommend this pack. A lot of hours were put into it. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get right into it. So if you guys do not have WinRAR, it is linked in the description below. You are going to need WinRAR to open this pack here. So uh, what you're going to do next is you're going to double click on this. And then if you have WinRAR, it's just going to open up like this. You're going to drag and drop the actual file onto your desktop. There we go. Just like that. Now inside of here, what you're going to have is 20 different different CRT looks that you can use on your text. You're gonna have a black frame, some bonus assets that you can use as background for the text, and then you're gonna have a CRT LUT. So I'm gonna explain all of this while we do the text look. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna open Adobe Premiere. I was already messing around with it earlier, but we'll go over everything all over again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop your text. So I have two texts here. I have CRT text by Tiny Tapes, and then I have text. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna drag and drop the CRT folder in here, which I've already done. And then once you do that, you're gonna open it up. You have all of these looks here. The first one that we're gonna go over is my favorite favorite one personally the blue falling light look so we're going to drag and drop that on top of the text and then we're going to go to effect controls and bring that down these assets are 4k and i'm working in a 1080p timeline so we're just going to bring it down to 50 percent because 1080p is 50 percent of 4k so what we're going to want to do next is you're going to want to go to your blend mode and you're going to want to hit multiply here just like that and you see nothing's happened yet nothing has happened yet because you want to go back into the crt and you want to grab the black frame and you're going to drag that below the text here now once you do that you're going to see that multiply has worked on the text and it gives you the look already and that's not the full look there but you kind of have it already we're going to add a couple of effects on top of it to make the look even better first thing we're going to do is we're going to split this in half here so it affects both uh, uh, text differently we're going to click on the crt look we're going to go over to effect controls and we're going to scale it so it fits perfectly there we go and now what i like to add on this as well is i like to add vr glow totally up to you for what you guys want to add you guys might know things that might make it look cooler than i do but this is personally just what i like to add so you're going to add vr glow and then you're going to go up to luma threshold and you can turn that up or down you see what that does there it makes it more bright i'm going to turn it all the way up just like that you'll see the difference there this is with it on and then this is with it off right it's a lot more bright in your face and then for the next one as well what we're going to do is we're going to scale it properly so it fits the text just scale it just like that that's perfect and then let's add vr glow again under this one go over to effect controls and then we're gonna turn it down actually just like before and then we have more of a glowing look just like that perfect and then what i also like to do as well is i like to go over and add an hls color so you can just search hls there it's called hls or it's called color balance hls you're gonna drag and drop that on there and now what this does is you can change the hue to any color you like uh, just ignore this uh, little bar across. This won't affect your guys' computer, just my Premiere is having some problems right now. Um, so basically what this does is you can drag it and it will change the color to whatever you like. So you're not just limited to the blue that this comes with. So any color that this pack has, you can change it with HLS color. So this one's more of like a purple here. You can change it to whatever color you like. This one's more of a blue, just like before, any color you like. Uh, super cool. So yeah, we're gonna go back and do effect controls and we're gonna change it up a little bit. Hello, all right, perfect. And once again, guys, just ignore that bar there. It only happens on my computer. It's not going to happen on yours. Uh, just my Premiere being weird. Uh, so we're going to make that red there. And then the one before is blue, just like that. So that's pretty much how you guys do the first version of the effect there. Uh, there's also another couple things you can add on. It's totally up to you guys if you want to add it on. I usually just like sticking with the VR glow. But uh, here's a couple other things you guys can add on as well. So if you want to go in and you search uh, Lumetri color, drag and, drag, drag and drop that on the clip there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into basic correction and we're going to turn up the shadows. Now what this does is it makes the darker parts of the clip more visible. So you see the blacks there. Makes them more blue. Or you can turn them all the way down just like that. And it gives it more of a, a flashy look. I think I'm going to stick with more of the flashy look actually turning the shadows down. I think that looks better. And then as well in the pack like I stated at the beginning of the video we have a LUT as well that comes with it. So you're going to go down to creative. You're going to go to look. You're going to go browse and then you're going to go uh i have it saved in here but we're going to go to our desktop we're going to go to the crt text and then you'll have the light here it's just called z crt lut double click on that and then once it applies i'll show you guys the before and after there right the LUT just kind of makes stuff pop a little bit more i uh, got the intensity turn that high or low whatever you guys like uh, the LUT looks a lot better when you don't have all these other things on 
So you can kind of see the, the LUT working there. You kind of mess around. I suggest you guys go into basic correction. You just mess around with the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows. Kind of go in, mess around with it, kind of fine tweak it to what you guys like. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the second part where I show you guys another text look. All right, guys, for the second text look, we're going to be using the CRT black texture, right? So we're going to drag and drop that over the clip, just like so. You see this one's a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do as well, just like last time, we're going to grab that black frame. We're going to drag it below the text there. So what you want to have, whatever CRT look, you want to have your text below that CRT look, and then you want to have the black frame below the text, all right? So then what you're going to want to do next is you're going to go up to the CRT texture. You're going to go to Effect Controls, and then you're going to go all the way down to... Uh, multiply here and just like so you have the effect uh, we're gonna split that in half just like before and then let's mess around with scale so it fits perfectly and then boom just like so that's kind of a cool look uh, like I said before uh, let's add a Lumetri color drag and drop that on top of the CRT black texture go down to effect controls you guys can mess with all of this so uh, let's play with the shadows a little bit make it darker brighter uh, exposure as well we can make the higher lower totally up to you guys bring up the whites bring down the whites I'm gonna bring those up there so all this effect is guys is taking the assets that I give you guys and messing around with it we're gonna go and add VR glow just like the last one and if you guys have sapphire you guys can add sapphire flicker which i recommend uh that same gpu render thing is going to come up on my computer trust me it is not going to come up on your computer guys my premiere is just messed up right now for some reason i need to go in and fix it uh maybe it won't actually let's bring this down to one fourth just so it doesn't lag but yeah it just flickers it and makes it flicker like an old tv i recommend that if you guys have sapphire use flicker on the crt texture doing it'll make it look super cool and then let's move on to the second one here. Actually, sorry, let's go back to the first one. Let's head back down to our Lumetri color. Let's go to creative and then let's apply that LUT once again. So there's a LUT there. All right, boom, there's the look there, guys. You see it's flickering from the Sapphire Flicker. If you guys wanna mess with that, make sure you guys go into the effect controls, go all the way down to Sapphire Flicker and then mess with the amplitude and you can mess with all these other settings as well just to kind of get the look that you want. Moving on to the second one here same thing you're gonna to want to drag the scale so it matches perfectly or you guys can zoom all the way in just like that to give it more of a zoomed in look it's totally up to you for what you guys want to go for this whole time i've just been scaling it to the size of the text but you can get a bunch of unique looks with this pack guys for this one let's try a little bit more zoomed in so we can see those pixels see it flickering a little bit more right so then uh let's just copy and paste everything that we have here so we're gonna uh control c and then go over to this one control alt v and they're gonna be brought up to this tab. Uh, we're only gonna be applying this, the Lumetri color and the flicker onto this one, so hit OK. And then boom, you have the look. Now, another look you can add on to this, if you guys go over to effects, you go over to curves. This one's super cool. I did not explain this one at the beginning, so I apologize. Let's actually do this one on the second one here. So we'll go over, we'll drag RGB curves on the bigger one here. And you guys will see the difference right now. Scroll all the way down, we'll find our curves. And then you can go play with the master. You can turn that all the way up, down, you can add like a red look into it, a blue look, green look. But uh, I just recommend for the white one, just playing with this master here, messing around with it, creating your own points. See how that looks there, more of a white look, right? And now if you guys wanna make the background transparent so it's on a black frame, so you can put it on top of your video footage, what you wanna do is you wanna highlight, right click, nest, hit okay, and then go over to effect controls, and then head over down to screen. Once you put it on screen, you can put any video clip behind the text and you will see the text on top of the video clip. There won't be a black background. Um, so if you guys are doing music videos, using this for edits, anything like that, that's how you make the background transparent and have it over video. And I think that's it for the video, guys. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and comment down below. If you guys want to go buy this package on my website, tinytapes.ca, I highly recommend it. There are a bunch of crazy assets in here, 20 different looks in here. And if you guys want to drag and drop these below, let me just show you this quickly. Drag and drop these clips below. Is that gonna play out? Just like that, you can kind of add cool background looks, background textures with these I have in here. You can use these as transitions by putting them in screen. So you can use these as transitions on your videos. You can do a lot with this stuff, guys. 
So yeah guys, I highly recommend this pack if you guys want to grab it. It is on my website, like I said, www.tinytapes.ca. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, please, please, please DM me on Instagram. I'm always there answering you guys' questions. And I would love to see what you guys create with these. If you guys end up using this text on any of your videos and you post it on Instagram, tag me or just DM me it. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So uh, yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.